you know what? Don't even ask me what's going on with my hair because I could not tell you. Like, look at it. Okay, I don't care anymore. Hi guys, good morning, welcome back. I'm really, really tired. Today I'm gonna be doing another haul. Don't be surprised, okay? These do come every other video. It's also a full moon tonight, so there's a fun fact of the day. I said certified freak. Eight and a half days of the week. I am gonna be doing a try on haul. Literally, what is the point in filming a haul if you're not gonna try on the videos? The fucking wow. I am gonna be doing a try and haul. I don't see the point in doing a haul and then not trying on the clothes. Like, what is anyone getting out of that? Nothing. Um, but I'm not gonna film the try and haul today because guess who's on that period? Ah! Yes, you guessed it. It is me. Can you tell? I am so fucking tired right now. I'm so exhausted and I'm forcing this energy. So if I seem very sarcastic or very annoying, it's all fake. It's fake. She's an LA bitch. Anywho, let's just get cracking because I am gonna pass out or scream or cry if I don't. The first thing we have is what I'm wearing right now. So I'm gonna show you. This is the first thing that I bought and it is the most Izzy Smith thing to ever walk this planet. I am obsessed with this. It's just a cord, obviously. Like it's an oversized t-shirt and some shorts. If I have these the normal length, they are like down to my knee, which if you know me, you know I do wear shorts like that half the time. But I just wasn't feeling it today, so I have rolled it up so it's a little bit shorter. Um, the only thing about this is the top is a little bit long, which is kind of annoying. But if that's an issue, just size down. It does say island waves on the top, which is kind of fun. Kind of fun. And the letters are like dripping at the bottom. The only weird thing about this is the material. It's almost like a swimming costume material. It's not like t-shirt material. But it's quite nice because it's like cooling. So in summer, this is going to be something I'm wearing all the time when it's fucking heat wave and like 50 degrees. Because that's exactly what happens in the UK, you know. It's such a hot country. It's such a hot country and I just can't deal with the dryness. Because it's never raining. No, but this will be good when it actually gets hot in summer. Um, for now, we're quite far from it. But for summer, this is going to be great. And I am wearing it right now, and I'm fucking freezing. So maybe don't wear it when it's cold. But it is really cute, and I'm obsessed with the tie-dye and the colours and everything. Thank you, Shein. Please just sponsor me at this point. Please. If you're from Shein, please just email me. It's down below. Please. Because I love your clothes. The next thing I'm going to show you, I have been sleeping in for the last five days. So if it's covered in dirt, like, honestly, just ignore it. Keeping it, keeping it real, keeping it humble. It is this top, and I, hang on, let me just show you. It has a butterfly on the front, which first of all is really weird for me because I'm scared shitless of butterflies. Like, I am fucking terrified. But they're kind of cute when they're on the top, okay? It's not flying, it's all good. This is the comfiest material. Like, it's so, so soft. The only thing is, it's a little bit sheer. I don't know if you can see on camera. Don't wear a red bra underneath it, basically. But if you want to wear something, like, neutral or grey or white, It'll be fine, you won't see it. It's just if you weren't gonna wear anything colourful, not gonna happen. Like I said, I've been sleeping in this and it is the comfiest thing. Like, it is so soft and I'm just obsessed with it. And I don't know what it says. I have no idea what it says. So if you can figure out what it says, please let me know. But um, this with some jeans, like some baggy jeans, is my go-to outfit. Like an oversized white t-shirt with some oversized jeans. It just makes you look so put together. Or oh, like these with some like grey shorts. Anything like an oversized white top just makes you look hot like I don't care who you are I don't care what you look like I don't care what you're feeling a white oversized top is sexy as fuck. I hate the word sexy Okay, moving on. I also bought another white oversized top because like I said, they're always cute. They're always hot So this is like a race car one Brum brum racing women <laughs> Fuck's sake a brum brum racing moment. Okay, it just says West Coast, California, and I think it's really cool I love the design. I love all the colors on it and just the graphics is very fun and very cute. This one's not as sheer as the other one, so this one's alright on its own. But once again, if you're gonna wear a red bra, um, it's probably not gonna work. But like, also, I don't know. Okay, try it if you want. It's a nice t-shirt. It's oversized, obviously. When do I ever wear anything fitted? Absolutely never. So it's really comfy, it's really soft, it's really cosy, and it's great for lounging as well. And also, when it gets hot, this is gonna be great to wear with like, just some biker shorts or like, some... What are, those, like, what are those short biker shorts called? Like just booty shorts, is that what they're called? Because booty shorts really fringes me out. And yeah, she and please send me clothes. Not that I need any more, but like it just would be nice to have some recognition, you know? We could send them to me, and then I could send them to a charity shop. And that would help some people. Like I said, summer's coming up, which means colours are coming back. Because I... Basically, I go into hibernation in winter. I don't exist in winter. I have no personality. I am ugly. And I don't like myself in winter. Summer comes round and I'm a whole new fucking bitch. And here we are. Like, she's starting to come back now, which I quite like. Um, but I do wear neon clothes a lot in summer. 
and this top was just really really fitting for me it's not even showing up as bright as it actually is on camera um so i'm gonna try and see if i can adjust that in the try on clip it's oversized as hell first of all like once again never wear anything fitted but this is so oversized the material is so 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 soft i haven't actually worn this yet so you're gonna see in the try on like what it fits with but i feel like orange is just such a good color like it's just such a good color that can go with so many things and yeah i'm really looking forward to wearing this and it says limits on the front if you were wondering i'm just gonna get through all the t-shirts first because you already know that i have got more t-shirts than anything else this one i've literally only just opened and it's this lime green graphic top oh this so this is almost like printed on whereas the other things are kind of in the material so this one's slightly different to the others the material is a little bit thicker and it's not as soft as the others but it's still super soft like i said i love neon anything neon is just it's just a bit of me so we have a neon top. I'm so excited to wear this with white trousers. This and some white trousers and some like sunglasses and a messy pony is really how I'm trying to be in summer. But for now, I can't see a single thing in the sky. Like, it's just white. Like, here's the thing that annoys me about the UK. Okay, UK, England, great country. England is a great country. UK is not a country, but England is a beautiful country. I love this country. But what the fuck is up with the sky? Like, it's just white. It doesn't have clouds. It doesn't have any blue like it's just white like where are we living like has the has the world not loaded like is is it where is it any weather i'm fine with i love rain you know i love the sun anything is chill but as soon as it's windy it fucks everything up because if it's rainy and it's windy it's slapping you in the face if it's sunny and it's windy well, what's the point like imagine if you're at the beach and it's windy it doesn't do much it doesn't do anything if it's cloudy and it's windy, it just makes it cold. It really just brings down everyone's mood, and I'm not here for it. So, England, if you would like to fix your weather, would be stunning. Um, I don't know who to go to about that, but I will be emailing my government party. I don't know shit about politics, so don't come. Okay, this is a green top. I don't know what round I just went on, but this is a beautiful top, and I'm really excited to wear this like I said. So like the set that I've got on right now, I actually got another one in black and green. The material of most of these t-shirts is literally unbelievable. It's so nice and just comfy and <laughs> I wore this the other day with some jeans and it was beautiful. It was beautiful. This with a bunch of like chunky jewellery is so, so nice. It says rock and roll can never die on the front and it does come with matching shorts which I haven't actually tried these on but I think they're just the same length as the ones I've got on so I probably will be rolling them but they've got the slogan on each leg and then there's just nothing on the back it's just plain shorts are the same material as the top which I really like it's not weird have you ever bought a cord and like the top is a different material to the bottoms because it's not a fucking cord then is it like it needs to be the same color and same material otherwise it's not a cord it's two different products because that really annoys me so the fact that these are the same is just standard, but it's nice, so thank you. These, I feel like, would just look good with an all-black outfit, like some black chunky trainers or something. Summer thing, because once again, shorts and a t-shirt, but very excited to wear them, because it doesn't look like I'm going to be leaving the country this year, um, and it's pretty safe not to anyway, so. Oh, <gasps> I forgot I bought this. Oh my god, I don't know if this is going to fit, because it looks kind of small. Okay, so I bought this bikini from Shein, which I've only just opened. Um, and I can't really give you an opinion on it right now because I don't think it's gonna fit. I'll show you anyway though. I got, got this red basic bikini from Shein. The top just looks like this. It's just a basic triangle, but I love these. I think they're way more flattering than most other bikini tops, or at least on me anyway. As long as it isn't like pushing my boobs down and makes me look really flat, then it's fine. Because the ones that do that, like what is the point? You know, I'm not trying to look like a cardboard box at the beach. Front bit here is really long, so I feel like you can pull these up and it will look really flattering. And you can create that like hourglass shape um and these will be really good for shaping around your hips at the back it's quite thin as well i hate bikini bottoms where they like completely cover your butt so it looks like granny but i also hate wearing a thong bikini when i'm at the beach with my family my family being my mum and my sister but still it's just a bit awkward like i feel like if i'm going on a holiday with my friends i'll wear a thong bikini but i will not be wearing a thong bikini around my mum it just does seem a bit odd um so yeah i feel like these might work not sure if the top's gonna fit you probably know this before I do. If it doesn't, I will be crying. I will be crying. But we're not trying it on now anyway because I'm on my period and we're not dealing with that blow and that insecurity. So we're getting through it and then we're going to do the try on. Then I actually got um, this bandana thing, which I have wanted a bandana for years. But I never thought they'd suit me, so I never got one. But then I saw this on Shein. 
So I thought I'd like snatch it and give it a go. It was like two pounds and I am fucking obsessed. I am obsessed and that's all that needs to be said about it. It's a nice material. It's not like really cheap. Hang on, my storage was full, but we're back. It would not go with this hairstyle at all, but I did wear it the other day. I wore an Instagram photo and it's just really nice. And it's also good for keeping my hair out of the wind because I have thick hair and when I wear lip gloss, which I do quite a lot, it's not a good combination. And like I said, it's windy as fuck in England. So it really, those three, mm -mm. Mm -mm. The design is also just really cute. It is just really cute. While we're still on accessories, let me show you the two sunglasses I bought. First of all, the fact that they come in a case is so good because I buy probably like 10 pairs of new sunglasses a, a year. Literally, like, no joke. I buy hella sunglasses every year. Um, and they're all in that drawer and they're all fucking broken, basically. Um, and if they're not broken in that drawer, they're broken in the bin. And it's not fun because I spend a lot of money on sunglasses just for them to break and disappear and not last longer than two minutes. So the fact that these come in a case, first of all, is nice and they also have a cleaner inside as well, which is also great. And it's so cheap, so win-win really. The first sunglasses I got, got? <laughs> the first sunglasses that I got are these green ones, which I feel like I wouldn't wear in real life, but I would definitely wear for an Instagram photo. They're really cute. They're really like... Emma, 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 Emma. They're really cute. They're really Emma Chamberlain vibes, I feel like. Maybe don't wear them like this. They would be really cute for an Instagram photo. And I love the shape and the colour is everything. So you will be seeing this a lot on my social medias. So be sure to go follow me on there if you don't already. Because I hate to brag, but my Instagram is kind of cute. So I feel like you should head over. Thank you. This other pair I bought is my favourite thing out of this whole entire haul. It is very Paris Hilton early 2000s vibe. Very Kim K. Very um, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills kind of moment. And I'm living for it. I think Olivia Neal has these actually. They're just these brown rimless sunglasses. I'm obsessed. Like they're not sitting on my face probably because of this bun. But look how cute they are, like the colour, the shape, the style, the little gold detailing on the side. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. And it goes so well with like the jewellery. Mm -mm -mm. I feel like these would be cute for an Instagram photo if you just had like a close up. Like here and you had like earrings and you're showing off rings. Oh my god, you're going to see that on my Instagram. I really want new jewellery. That's like good. So if you've got anywhere that's like good to buy jewellery or if you own a jewellery company. Hey, hi. My email is down below. Yeah, these are my favourite thing out of the whole haul. The whole design of them I'm just obsessed with. And the fact that they don't have a rim is really nice as well. But once again, if they didn't come with the case, they would have been broken by now. So thank you, Shein. I'm getting really bad cramps right now. Oh my god. <laughs> Ow, what the fuck? Ow, where are these coming from? After I film this video, I will be getting straight back into bed. My stomach hurts like crazy. And I just want to eat some soup right now. Like some lentil soup. Mm. Did you know that was the first thing I ever manifested was broccoli soup? Like deliberately. That was a really great time in my life. And yeah. I feel like I've got more. But apparently I've only got two more items. So here are the last two items. I'm going to show you this one first. This top I feel like everyone at my school has. And I didn't realise until after I bought this top. Um, if not everyone. I know Zara has it at least. So hi Zara. Here's your top. I haven't tried this on. And I don't really own any tops like this because i feel like it's not usually very flattering on my chest um but we're gonna try it we're gonna see i can't really show you how it looks on camera because i don't really know how it's supposed to look up here but it is one of those top oh you're gonna see in the try on here's the try on this is what it looks like it's really cute i am obsessed with the color and the tie-dye of it it's adorable and i used to fucking hate tie-dye like if you know me you know Back in the day, like when the tie-dye trend just started, I was not a fan. It was ugly. But that's because they were mixing like reds with yellows and greens. And it was the ugliest shit ever. Whereas now, if you do pastel tie-dye, I'm all in. Anything else? No. Nah. Nah. This has the same material as this. It's like that swimming costume kind of material. Though I say swimming costume material, please don't jump in a pool with this on. Because I'm not sure it's really made for that. But you know, if I do want to try it out... Um, feel free, let me know how it goes down below. This is adorable, and I am a fan of this, and I feel like this would look really cute with some mum jeans and maybe some black boots. I don't have any black boots. <gasps> yes, I do! Oh my god, I'm gonna wear this with some mum jeans and some black boots, and like, those, either green or those brown sunglasses. Mmm, outfit. The back of this is basically just all tied. It's a pretty open back, I think. You can adjust it, so it is gonna be fairly easy to fit to your body type. So, whatever size you get, I feel like will kind of work. But yeah, that's this. I don't know what to say about it because it's just a top, but 
that's this and it's kind of cute and the final thing i have to show you guys is actually from this brand called shein x like it's just shein but i think they have like another line in it called shein x don't ask me what it means because i don't really know i haven't really looked into it that much and i love these shorts let me tell you all my reasonings why number one they're white we all know how i feel about anything white number two the graphics on it like the graffiti design with all the colors the drawstrings the length i love long shorts i love long shorts okay i don't care how manly it is or how unfeminine it makes me look like fuck off i love long shorts okay and i will be wearing long shorts in my deathbed the colours on this are beautiful. The purple, the yellow, the orange, the pink, the black and the grit. Like, it just works. It just works. I'm obsessed with this. This, I feel like, would be really cute to wear with just a bikini top. Like, down at the beach or whatever. Also, an oversized top. Anything goes with an oversized top. I'm excited to try them on. They're also super soft. Like, super, super soft. They are more on the thinner side of material, though. So, if you're looking for some thick shorts, keep that in mind. Because they're not thick whatsoever but also who wears shorts in winter they do have pockets in the back as well which i wasn't expecting but that's very handy dandy oh my god did anyone watch handy manny oh <gasps> that was a great show i really liked that hammer don't ask me what it was called i really did like the hammer these are the shorts and they're really cute and they're really soft and i can't wait to wear them i really hope you guys oh my god my posture is really bad wow look at me making a tutorial on how to be a bad bitch and then not having good posture wow ah! i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'm really sorry if i was really annoying no, I'm not. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and all the clothes that I bought. I will be sure to link them down below. So if you do want to check them out, they're all down below. I wish I had a code to give you. I wish I had a discount code, but I just don't. So Shein, hi. Hi, I'm Izzy. I would love to work with you sometime. Okay, I'm going to manifest it. You will be working with me. Whether you like it or not. I'm sorry, but... There you go. If you want, subscribe down below. The button's there. You don't have to. I'm not forcing you to. But I would really appreciate it if you press subscribe and maybe click the notification bell to be notified every time I upload. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Love you. I feel like I'm ending a FaceTime call. I'm like, bye.